Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is a radio which my mother is using. It has AM and FM band and is very compact in size. While she is in kitchen, she will switch this on and place this on top of the fridge and will listen the radio station, mostly AM band. The on off function and band selecting function that is FM and AM is done using a single three way sliding switch which is very small. She always complains that it is very tough for her to use the sliding switch. That is why I replaced the on off switch with a big electrical switch. So any person can switch this on and off by just similar to switching on a light or a fan or just as simple as it is. You can see how simple it can be done. And the advantage of using this switch is this is long life. And for band selecting I have put a two way sliding switch at the back side. This can also be operated simply. Don't worry about the movement of this sliding switch. It is perfectly glued at the bottom side. I forgot to take a video of doing this. But I thought that I can at least tell this to my friends. So that if they are also experiencing the same issue then they can also do this and fix the issue. Another issue she told is the battery. This is using two batteries ASI and three weeks is the maximum it can last. I fixed that issue too and I will show you how I fixed that. Keep ready to watch that. Are you ready to watch? I installed a lithium polymer rechargeable battery inside the battery compartment. This is the most simple and cheap one and also long lasting. I have shown this to a few of my previous videos and will give the link in the description box. The one I am using is a 500mAh LiPo battery. For charging I have used a 3.7V 1A BMS which is micro USB type. I have glued the BMS in the battery using a double side tape. This radio requires minimum voltage of 2.5V. Below that the sound will be distorted. I thought of using two nickel metal hydride battery of 1.2V each and its excited voltage will be 1.4 max. So it will work for 15 minutes only. That is why I thought of this one. But this one has 3.7V normal and 4.2V excited voltage. That means maximum charger voltage will be 42 This may affect the circuit inside this. We have to somehow reduce the voltage a bit. We can use buck circuit. But as shortcut I used a 1 and 4007 diode in series with the positive terminal. There will be a 0.7 volt drop across the silicon diode. Also I have soldered the wire directly to the battery terminals. You can see plus and minus. When the battery becomes low my mother will tell us and we will charge it and give it to her. And to be frank these things are not rocket science. Anyone can do it. I will show you how this battery is fixing it in the battery compartment and I am closing its lid. We put this perfectly and just close the lid. After this if you want to charge it what you can do is just open the lid and use the charging cable to charge. After that pull out the cable and insert to the battery compartment and close the lid. That's it. I am giving just an idea to you that if you have any equipment which uses 3 watt then you can change that into the rechargeable one by spending very less amount of money. Why you are spending money to buy the AA or AAA batteries? You can simply convert those things to rechargeable one. It took only half an hour for me to convert this radio into rechargeable one. This is very very simple. I repeat very very simple. Anyone can do this. You can see how simply we can switch this on. And also you can see the red LED lighting when the station is tuned. You can see the red LED, right? If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.